Hello and welcome to Dr. Anima Upadhyay's Chemistry and Technology Lecture Videos. In today's video, we will talk about dendrimers. Dendrimers are nanomaterials and have great importance in drug delivery. So before I begin today's topic, I would like you to please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it so far and to also share this video among all your friends and colleagues. Now let's begin with the today's topic that is dendrimers. What is the origin of the word dendrimer? The word dendrimer comes by a Greek word dendron which means branching of a tree and looking at the appearance of dendrimer we can very much conclude that the word dendrimer is absolutely correct. As you can see below in the figure where the dendrimer molecule is being shown, it looks like the branches of a tree. So what are dendrimers? Dendrimers are highly ordered branched polymers forming spherical macromolecules. Explain the structure of a typical dendrimer molecule. A typical dendrimer is made up of a central core atom. As you can see in the figure, the red atom is the central core atom, which is surrounded by repetitive branching unit or the inner shell, followed by an outer or terminal shell made up of functional groups. So in the figure you can see the central core atom, the red color atom which is the core atom, then the first generation, second generation, third generation and the surface groups. What type of symmetry is observed in dendrimers? Dendrimers show radial symmetry. What are the other names or the synonyms for dendrimers? The synonyms for dendrimers are arborols and cascade molecules. However, the commonly used name is dendrimer as arborols and cascade molecules are rarely used. Give some examples of dendrimers. Where are these dendrimers used? Polyamidoamine, PAMAM, polypropylene imine, PPI, polyether copolyester, PEPE, -E. P gylated and peptide are some examples of dendrimers and they have applications in drug delivery. What are the methods for the preparation of dendrimers? They are either prepared by divergent or convergent method. Are dendrimers nanomaterials? Yes, they are nano sized molecules with homogeneous and monodispersed structure. How does dendrimer molecule grows through divergent method? To make you understand the divergent method, I have drawn this figure where the arrows are pointing outwards from the core. So you can understand it that in the divergent method, the dendrimer grows outward from a multifunctional core molecule. The core molecule reacts with monomer molecules containing one reactive and two dormant groups, giving rise to the first generation dendrimer as shown in the figure. How does the dendrimer molecule grows through convergent method? So, the convergent method is converse of the divergent method. Here you can see in the figure that the arrows are pointing inwards towards the core molecule. So, we can explain that in convergent method, the small molecules 
comes together and starts growing inwards and eventually the molecules gets attached to the core giving rise to a dendrite however the steric effects along the core limits its size state some important applications of dendrimers they are used for drug delivery gene delivery that is rna and dna drug solubility and in diagnostic and medical applications what is the role of dendrimers in medicine they are used as drug carriers for the delivery of the drug to the organs explain the mechanism of drug delivery by the dendrimers they deliver drugs either by encapsulation of drugs or by the dendrimer drug conjugation method explain encapsulation method for the drug delivery by dendrimers in this method the drug is trapped within the dendritic structure the drugs interact with the terminal functional groups of dendrimers through electrostatic or covalent bonds and this method helps in controlled delivery of drug there are examples here i have quoted the example of complexing of dna with pamam dendrimer for gene delivery applications and incorporation of hydrophobic drugs in dye molecules in dendrimer cores explain dendrimer drug conjugation method here the drug is attached either directly or through a linker or a spacer with the help of a covalent bond to the surface groups of the dendrimers you can go back in the slides and see where the surface groups are in the dendrimers it is the outermost shell after the third generation various active molecules such as lipids sugar moiety antibodies and drugs have been conjugated with the dendrimers and delivered give the names of two drugs that are delivered using dendrimers doxorubicin and methotrexate are the names of drugs delivered using dendrimers what is the route of administration of drug by dendrimers there are several routes of administration of drugs to the systemic circulation by dendrimers such as oral and intravenous as well as transdermal and ocular routes what are the advantages of dendrimers over other drug delivery systems the advantages over other drug delivery systems include three dimensional and globular architecture controllable structure and size lower molecular volume compared with linear polymers of similar molecular weight hence it is a perfect drug delivery system for a wide range of applications state the major drawbacks of dendrimers the low hydrosolubility and high non specific toxicity are the two major drawbacks of dendrimers explain toxicity of dendrimers the toxicity of dendrimers depends on the number and nature of functional surface groups tetainic dendrimers often exhibit high toxicity whereas anionic and neutral dendrimers show little or no toxic effects why dendrimers are cytotoxic the terminal cationic functional groups of dendrimers are responsible for cytotoxicity it is due to their interaction with cell membranes which leads to disruption of the cells state the benefits of dendrimers the nano scale size of dendrimers high degree of branching in it polyvalency 
biocompatibility, absence of immunogenicity, precise molecular weight and available internal cavities makes dendrimers excellent vehicles for effectively and safely transporting the drugs. Here we come to an end of this topic. I hope you must have understood it well and if someone asks you to write a short note on dendrimers, you can easily collect all these points and put it into a short note. I have also uploaded many videos on other nanomaterials such as carbon nanotube and fullerenes. I will be still uploading more videos on nanomaterials such as nanowires, nanocomposites. So please keep watching and keep learning with me. Thank you.